Let's discuss a couple of different ways to find the area of a triangle. So if you have side lengths A, C, and B, uh, how are you going to go about finding the triangle? Well, one way is if you also have alpha, you can think about a triangle as simply being area equals one half base, which is B, times the height. Well, the height is right here, right? How do you find the height? Hmm. Well, uh, you could look at this triangle, this right triangle, and you could say, well, sine of alpha equals this height, h, over the hypotenuse, c. So h is going to equal c sine alpha. Well, then we could say area equals one half base b times c sine alpha. Okay, that game is playing if you, as if you know the angle between c b. Well, you could do the same game. There's there's the uh, version typed. You could do the same game if you knew the angle between side a and c beta. Or you could do the same game if you knew the side, the angle between sides A and B. So there are three different forms of basically the same approach to calculating the area of a triangle. You know an angle and the two side lengths adjacent. Well, uh, there's also another way, and that's if you know sides A, B, and C of a triangle, you can calculate the sum of the sides divided by 2, then put those pieces together, and using Heron's formula, you take the square root of that, and that turns out to be the area as well.